Hello and welcome to a long overdue episode of TNT Gaming Channel. My name is Toma and today we're taking a look at the latest free to play offering to please my empty wallet, it's Age of Conan Hyborian Adventures. The developers like many these days have decided to make a pay to play game go free to play, which seems to be the in thing at the moment, so this means we all get another game without parting with any of our hard earned cash, yay! Age of Conan had many issues as a pay to play game never really getting the following it may or may not have deserved. Can the game find more of a following now it's free to play? Only time will tell. Well, I say free to play, the website says unlimited trial, almost like they don't want to admit it. Many gamers say that free to play is the graveyard where many pay to play games go to die. Maybe the developers don't want the game labelled as dying, who knows. Anyway. The character creation is very deep, offering many different looks, designs and features for your character. Choose where you're from, tattoos, how big you are, and then choose what class you want to be from many different options, be it barbarian, necromancer, ranger, it's all good, so thumbs up here. On a side note, I did try for a few minutes to make a huge barbarian guy that looked like Arnie when he made Conan so famous, but unfortunately you can never get quite big enough, so this picture will have to do us all for now. The graphics are visually awesome, you'd expect nothing less from a pay to play game, but the fact it's free to play now means you're getting more for your money. Well, actually it's just more for your time and effort I guess, as the game is free. I mean that's all you're putting into it, it's just download time isn't it? The game runs smoothly, and offers little in the way of lag, and so far I've found no crash issues or bug problems, so again, big tips for me there. The quests are as you would expect, collect 10 of these kill 20 of these, the usual MMORPG fodder that so many games feast upon. But it doesn't seem to be getting boring, so that's good. The quest items are cool, armour looks awesome, and there is plenty of choice meaning it's difficult to spot someone who looks and dresses like you, so the immersion in the game is sustained throughout. I will just bring back Faxion for a second there, I do think that they need to take a bit of heed of this. If you don't know about Faxion, you haven't seen anything, just look it up. All the characters look the same, whether you're good or bad, it doesn't matter. Starter characters do look stupid in the first bits of clothing you get when you're on Age of Conan, and somehow my main character has turned out looking like Robin Hood. Hmm, not sure about those trousers. They're very tight. The main problem I had online with Age of Conan is the lack of people playing this game. For a number of reasons the player base has always been small and sometimes you don't see other characters running around. If you guys have any idea why so few play this game then let me know in the comments below. Whilst playing the free to play version of Age of Conan, it was never dead in the main cities but at the same time it was never busy. Hopefully going free to play, uh, free -to -play will entice more peeps to give it a go. Overall I really enjoyed playing this game and I actually think that this may stay on my computer after the review is done and dusted. It's well made, with deep char character progression and fantastic graphics. The game does seem to lack something in the way of gameplay. Whatever that spark is, it's not there even if it is a free to play game. Maybe they should make it into a quest for the game. Journey through the entire game to find the lost spark of Conan. Problem is I think I could search for hundreds of years and never find it. Download the game and maybe you can find the spark. As always, leave me a comment. Like the video always helps, and remember to subscribe. If you have any ideas on what to review next, then let me know on our YouTube page. I do read the comments, I promise. Laters!